This video is part of the iGEM Academy series, A Beginner's Guide. This tutorial explains how to carry out a BioBrick 3A assembly. BioBricks are Lego-like standardized strands of DNA that allow you to form synthetic biological systems. This BioBrick 3A assembly technique allows you to put two BioBricks together. The video includes the protocols for the digestion of the input DNA molecules and the ligation of the digested parts to form a circularized plasmid. To do BioBrick 3A assembly, you first need to transform E. coli cells with the plasmid DNA from the distribution kit. Set up an overnight culture of the transformed cells, then do a mini prep to produce purified plasmid DNA. Click on the links provided to learn how to carry out a transformation, prepare an overnight culture, and carry out a mini prep. For BioBrick 3A assembly, the following are needed. Purified DNA plasmids, distilled water, the enzymes echo r one XBA1, SP1, PST1, and T4 DNA ligase. 10x reaction buffer for restriction enzymes. 10x DNA ligase reaction buffer is also required. In this video, NEB buffer 2.1 and high fidelity restriction enzymes were used. Before commencing the BioBrick 3A assembly, make sure that the water bath is set at 80 degrees Celsius. A separate enzyme master mix is made for the upstream part, downstream part, and the plasmid backbone. Each enzyme master mix will digest the plasmids in a specific way so that they will be able to be joined together after ligation. Each of the enzyme master mixes will have a final volume of 25 microliters, which is enough to carry out five reactions. The enzyme master mix for the upstream part will contain the following. 5.5 microliters of NEB buffer 2.1, 0 0.5 microliters of ECHO R1, 0 0.5 microliters of SP1, and 18.5 microliters of distilled water. The enzyme master mix for the downstream part will contain the following 5.5 microliters of NEB buffer 2.1. 0 0.5 microliters of XBA1, 0 0.5 microliters of PST1, and 18.5 microliters of distilled water. The enzyme master mix for the plasmid backbone will contain the following 5.5 microliters of NEB buffer 2.1, 0 0.5 microliters of ECHO R1, 0 0.5 microliters of PST1 and 18.5 microliters of distilled water. To digest the upstream part, the following are added to a new Eppendorf tube. 4 microliters of the purified upstream part and 4 microliters of the enzyme master mix for the upstream part. To digest the downstream part, the following are added to a new Eppendorf tube. 4 microliters of the purified downstream part and 4 microliters of the enzyme master mix for the downstream part. To digest the plasmid backbone, the following are added to a new Eppendorf tube. 4 microliters of linearized plasmid backbone and 4 microliters of enzyme master mix for plasmid backbone. Each tube is flicked in order to mix the contents. The tubes can be spun in the microcentrifuge for a few seconds to collect the liquid in the bottom of the tubes. The tubes are then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the tubes are transferred to a water bath that's been set at 80 degrees Celsius and left for 20 minutes. This will denature the restriction enzymes. From now on, the contents of the tubes are referred to as digests. To see if the digests worked, 
20 microliters of each sample can be run on 1% egg rose gel. If the digests have worked, the gel will show bands of expected lengths. Please click on the link provided to see how to prepare an egg rose gel. The plasmids can then be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius, or you can proceed directly to the ligation step. In the ligation step, the enzyme T4 DNA ligase joins the digests together. For the ligation protocol, a new Eppendorf tube is taken and labelled L for ligation. The following are added to tube L. 2 microliters of the digested plasmid backbone, an equimolar amount of the upstream part, an equimolar amount of the downstream part, 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase reaction buffer, 0 0.5 microliters of T4 DNA ligase, and add water to 10 microliters. The tube is flicked to mix all the contents together. The tube can be spun on the microcentrifuge for a few seconds to collect the liquid in the bottom of the tube. Tube L is left at 16 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to allow the ligation reaction to proceed. The tube is then placed in a water bath at 80 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes to denature the enzyme. The ligation mix can be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius or immediately transformed. To view the video on transformation, please click on the link provided. Before proceeding to the transformation, make sure to have competent E. coli cells. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the TCD iGEM team 2015. To go directly to the next video in the series, A Beginner's Guide, please click on the link provided.